guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of season one of Tokyo Me Mew, which, I mean, we can still say this this is season one, because, I mean, season two, because I found out on Tuesday, because I was too busy to record this, um, that it's not coming back until April. We have a lot of things to talk about, let's just say that. So, you know, let's go ahead and get started with the final episode in three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> ah! No, the phone! Oh, fuck. Not the phone. Yeah, but still, no matter what, she's gonna be late because we're gonna have that moment in this episode. <laughs> this oh my god mhm mm but still what should you do stretch the truth <laughs> Huh? Oh, it's coming. Oh, crap. I wonder how it's going to look. Is it going to look hella similar to the original one? I mean, with the same colors and everything?
Oh, it looks so similar to it! Okay, yay! I'm glad. Oh, this thing had a name? I, I don't remember that! <laughs> Gotta get that new aqua though. And then, of course, he's going to immediately start calling Ichigo. Is it because her phone got A, he's not going to be able to... Ah! See, you would think she would get that one power-up item in this episode today, but I'm guessing they're saving that for the next half of the show. I mean, because the biggest thing is we're waiting for Mint to get something. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no, Lettuce, you're doing amazing. I mean, she just went in was like, nope, mm-mm. <laughs> She 
is right. Uh, that's the Libra Queen for ya. <laughs> There you go. Say it again for the people in the back. God, they're distracting her.
It's pretty. It looks very similar to the original manga one, but more, like, enhanced. And I'm not mad at it. This is new. I mean, because, I mean, um, okay? Honey. I mean, she she lost the phone. I'm mean, excited about that too, but your dates. Mm -hmm. He could still be there. Oh, God. I'm not ready for this part. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. 
my god, I'm about to cry. They would play this song. They would do a remake of this. No, but that's where you wrong. He's still there. That's a good way to end it, even though we gotta wait till freaking April. April. Oh my god. Bruh. Oh, excuse me. I wonder how they're gonna do that. Like, seriously. Okay. My my thing is, because of course we, okay, so we know with the Blue Knight thing, of course, that's Messiah. Uh, like, sorry, B BTW, BT, big spoilers for people who didn't know that, I'm sorry. Um, but my thing is, because I'm guessing they're probably going to do it, are they going to have his say you also play Deep Blue? Or... Are we going somewhere else with this? I have no idea what the heck they're going to do. Because it, like, I think they did that in the original series. I think. I don't know. I have to go and look that ish up. Um, but final thoughts on this show. Uh, for the 12 episodes, I, I really enjoyed it. Yes, I think myself and a lot of other people had problems with it. Because I'm going to, we're going to do it like this. I'm going to compare it very similar to, um... A little bit of Sailor Moon Crystal versus also Car Captain Sakura. Because I was very much like this when Sailor Moon Crystal Season 1 and 
two ended where people were like I enjoyed it but then at the same time some people felt like the show felt empty because of the fact is we were really heavily getting um the manga story without all these like little moments of them interacting and that's what it kind of felt like for this show for the 12 episodes a lot of I saw a lot of comments on Twitter saying this is kind of going a little too fast with the pacing and stuff but then you got to remember it was like that in the manga and I already coming into that I already knew it was going to be like that and that's why I was like damn this is probably going to be like very similar to Sailor Moon Crystal but we're probably still going to get little tidbits of interactions with the girls and such but I remember a lot of people also saying that um for Crystal everybody felt like one-sided like very one-dimensional because of the fact is they didn't have personality that's different for these girls they gave them a lot more personalities and we're getting more into their backstories and everything because I don't know how much from what I remember in the manga that they went into the backstories because like yeah I did not know Mint had an older brother and it makes me wonder was that also still in the original manga but they never really you know went into it because maybe to the creator um, at that time, possibly was like, I don't think this is important, you know? Um, but there, I think, like, manga-wise, we, we just finished Volume 4, I believe, or maybe, like, halfway of Volume 4. So now we're going into, like, the last three volumes of the show. So I figured this is just going to be a 24-episode series. They're going to get this done within 24 episodes. I, I would have expected it more to be about, like, 40 or in the case like very similar to the original series almost about 50 episodes but I'm guessing not because I'm guessing they they were like yeah we're just gonna stick to this um still give everybody development I do hope that we, with especially with Kish um Pie and Tart that we do still get a little more backstory on them yes I love the fact that we did get an episode explaining more on their backstory several weeks ago but into the second half especially when deep blue does come in and the situations that happen with him plus the fights that are going to be happening these are going to be very high intense moments then you have the Ryu situation on his backstory um so hopefully that pops up too there's a lot of things that since we are at the halfway point for the manga that there's still a lot of things that they have to do. So it does make me wonder if we are getting another 12 episodes in April of next year. Is it going to be um, good? That's the thing. It, I'm real, And honestly, I'm scared about this. Because just like Sailor Moon Crystal and Car Captain Sakura, you know, those are very near and dear close to my freaking heart. And I know a lot of people by the end of this last episode, yes, they were satisfied with the show, but they were still left like, why didn't they do this and why did they do that? And, and I can highly agree with that and stuff. But it was still good. I, I would say the the Seiyus who played everyone did really well. I love the fact that, you know, they <laughs> they had Ichigo Seiyu sing the My Sweetheart song. I have not heard that in years. And it just brought back so many freaking memories. Like, God. Oh. I, and I do, like I said, I do also love where they stopped at because yes, they can now go like immediately right into so many other things. And I hope that we get to see because technically as of now, like what both Lettuce and Mint both had had Mew Aquas. So it's just putting Zakuro and Ichigo because Ichigo should be the last one to get hers, I believe. Um, But yeah, it was good. Very enjoyable. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction review towards the entire first half of Tokyo Mew Mew Mew. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all next week or the week after for fall anime and all the way in April for the second half of this show. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.